Hello everyone, my name is Annette, and you might know me on social media as Netters Plays. Well, today I want to talk to you about a micro game that I really enjoy. Now, a micro game, to my definition, is a game that's really small and compact, can easily fit in your bag, in your purse, or even in your pocket. It's a small little card game, dice game, or even a little board or something like that. It also has to be pretty easy to teach to others. It doesn't take a long time, and it doesn't take a lot of table space. It's a small, little, compact game. So the game that I really recommend as a micro game is Coin Age. So this is it for Coin Age. All you have is the set of rules right here, which is tri-folded. It's double-sided as well. It's the size of a card, so you can easily put them away. These cards themselves are double-sided. You get two of them along with this one card here, which is not double-sided, but it's also a credit card plastic type of card. You can easily put that in your wallet. You also get these different types of coins. They're all double-sided, and you get four ones, three twos, two threes, and one four for each player. So let me show you how to play the game. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay out a card in front of you and the other player. These are your set of coins. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab one of each type. So I'm gonna grab one three, one two, one four, and one one. I'm gonna grab these in my hand, and then I'm gonna shake them up. And then you're gonna slam it down. So you look at the rules here, and depending on the outcome, it's going to tell you what exactly to do. So right here, I have two that are mine and two that are my opponents. So I'll look here, and I have two, so I get to place two coins. So you get to place your two coins, the value four and two, on any one of these areas here. So I could put one on, say, this volcano, and one right here on this area right here. So then the other player is going to go and do the same thing. They'll shake up theirs, they'll go ahead and slam it on the table, and then they'll go ahead and pick. The cool thing is, say for example, if they did these two and another two gray ones, then this one right here can cover up on top of the two or the four. Nothing can go on top of a one. But in the end of game, they're going to be worth less. They'll only be worth one point versus a four will be worth four points. If you can go ahead and claim one full area, say for example, this area right here, the highest value is a two. So the gray will get two points in the end of game. But for example, if the gray were to get both of them in this area right here that are their own color, they're gonna score three points plus twice that amount. So they'll actually score six points for claiming the whole area to themselves. So what you're adding to this game is a sense of area control by just flipping and slamming these coins. You're also trying to cover up your opponents. You can also move uh, your pieces around the table. So if you're not winning a certain area or if you wanna claim more land, you can just move your, your values around too. What I really like about this game is the fact that you're getting these coins, you're picking them up, you're shaking them around, and you're slamming them on the table. You also have this one card that's in between you and your opponent, and you're trying to obtain all these different areas. And so you're doing an area control based on what you're slamming on the table, what the outcome is. So there's a lot of tactical strategy. There's a lot of randomness, of course, but that makes a fun little game. So if you ever get a chance, you should try Coinage.